look at this footage. Look at it. Imagine I was to tell you that this footage was from a massively multiplayer survival zombie game. If you just screamed, take my goddamn money, then a lot of people would agree with you. This is footage from the day before, which was the most wishlisted game on Steam for quite some time until just recently when it was surpassed by Hogwarts Legacy. This game had the world by the balls, as we all waited with bated breath to see if this game was really what it was telling us it was. But now I'm pretty sure the final nail in the coffin for the day before has been hammered home. But before we get to that, let me lay the groundwork if you are unaware of this tale. While the trailers and promotional content for the day before looked phenomenal, this was being developed by a small indie team. Which would make you think, damn, these guys are really talented, until you realize this isn't their first game they've attempted to make. Their first game was The Wild 8, a top-down co-op survival game that sports a mostly positive score on Steam. The main issue in the Steam reviews being stated as it being reportedly very buggy and very abandoned before it was finished completely. Their next game was a mobile game they ported to PC called Radiant 1, which is a pretty mediocre short story that, according to one review, gets boring and is only 40 minutes long. Although I'm sure each of these games are great in their own right and have things about them to enjoy, I'm definitely seeing a trend of pretty okay polygonal graphics and alright gameplay. The last game they've released was made during their development on the day before, which for a small team is a little concerning that they'd split themselves up like that while they're working on a project that's as massively ambitious as the day before, but tomato tomato. This game was Prop Night, a multiplayer game that mixes Prop Hunt and Dead by Daylight and it's pretty good from what I hear, and is their most successful game by far. I mean, partially because of all the hype around the day before, so they kind of rode those coattails with it. But regardless, these games don't really preach that high bar that the day before sets with its promotions, but it gets much much weirder. While their team is small, they claim to have over 40 full-time volunteers working on the game, unpaid volunteers. This is strange. I've never heard of a company having people work for them for free, other than internships, I suppose, but that's an entirely different rabbit hole and problem. And so far, every time we've gotten close to the game, they've pushed it back significant amounts. They just pushed it back again for another nine months very recently. And right before they promised to give us some uncut raw gameplay footage, the game disappeared from Steam. It's gone. At first glance, it doesn't seem that concerning, but according to Kotaku, which to be fair, is known for fake news, so take this with a grain of salt, the devs claimed through a Steam community post that this disappearance was, in their words, a known bug. I haven't been able to find this community post, although I did find some other posts confirming that it did exist at one point. All those articles and posts and stuff will be in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Don't take my word for everything. It's important to do your own research. But I would not be shocked if they deleted this community post because a few days later they put out this release. Dear fans, Right before the release, Steam blocked our game page at the request of a private individual because of the name The Day Before. We previously planned to post a lengthy gameplay video later this month, but we'll have to sort this issue out first. We will post a video ASAP. As a result, we have made the difficult decision to postpone the launch to November 10th, 2023. We understand this may disappoint many of our fans. However, we want to ensure we release the best game possible. Feel free to pause and read the rest if you'd like, but those are the bits I found the most important. I also enjoyed this tweet. <laughs> That's pretty good. I just find it a bit odd that they have conflicting reports. If we're to take everything I've read to be true, was it a bug or was it a copyright issue they've known about? And the best part being that the raw footage that they've promised us is being pushed back. It just feels like they keep pushing this game back as much as possible, for as long as possible. And that feels very strange to me. Altogether, I'd say to keep your eye on this one, if not just for the entertaining drama. I'm really not sure sure what the day before will even be like when it releases, but I know one thing for sure, this has been pretty fun to watch happen. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, do please leave a lovely little like, and if you'd like to see more content like this, give that subscribe button a healthy chomp. Maybe it'll get zombified, but most importantly, have a goddamn wonderful day, and don't die.